Time for some creeps and crops. And one, two, is that? And what's up, Doc? Our next little review will be Bugs Bunny Halloween. It starts out with Daffy Duck's kid going off a trick or treat until he meets a real witch, and she's really frightened. Daffy Duck will go stomping off to see who his wicked witch is, and he gets scared of her too. And it all starts with a few Halloween treats, and you're doing. I said, oh, wait, not a niece, it was a nephew. Uh -huh. Kind of witch hazel with trick or treat. And, of course, Daffy never believes his nephew. In the end, he gets scared out of his mind. Yeah, I know. Our next little cartoon is Broomstick Bunny. Bugs, also the trick or treat the same costume as Daffy's nephew, errored later which Hazel House with the Wiz and fight him for tea. But the Bugs reveal himself to be beginning. He begins to leave because, well, Hazel asks him to stay and have some tea. Bugs instead draw brags about his doctor's tea and leaves and prove it to be a witch has more pizzazz. However, it all ended up in two ways. Chase the rabbit, chase the rabbit all over the round until he tricked her into drinking a potion and turned her into a most beautiful thing. Now, she has a mirror that's, and she does to his, says, Mirror, mirror, who's the ugliest in the world? But then when she was transformed into a girl, a pretty one, I might add, he says, Mirror, mirror, who's in the wall? Ugliest of all, but then the mirror is like, Oh my god, you're so hot, you're so pretty and cute, I want you for my wife. It chases her off on her broom, and then, well, Bugs just enjoys one of his crazy Sanity and Halloween. Next one's hiding here. It turns out the Dr. Bugs spoke of is not only Dr. Jekyll, a bug in Brody comes to face to face with Mr. Hyde. Every time and every turn of events, when he thinks that Dr. Jekyll is a good guy, then he transformed into Hyde, based on our classic novel, written by Robert St Robert Lewison, also wrote *The Treasure Island*. Or if I'm getting that wrong. <laughs> so, from the point from this one on, it's either Hyde is gonna get him, or Bugs is gonna get him. And every time Bugs he hides, he goes running and hiding and hiding and hiding. The cartoon was always my favorite. Plus, it's based on one of my favorite books. Our next little cartoon is another base on Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Instead, it's Tweety turns Mr. Hyde, and Sylvester thinks it's all a dream, but then Sylvester encounters which Tweety turned into a Hyde-like monster, and the Hyde monster tries to eat him. Hey, looks like Sylvester's finally getting his payback back, finally. He's getting it in the butt, but then later it's all a dream, but then when he sees sweet little Tweety, he gets scared of her. Even the cats say, hey, that cat's weird. He's got scared of a little bird. <laughs> Next is Hyper Hair. And it's another Dr. Jekyll episode, with, of course, Bugs Bunny. Bugs comes across Dr. Jekyll's height former and believes it to be Dr. T. After wondering whether or not it really does have pizzazz, he drinks some of it, and then when it's happening, it's Halloween. He was transformed into a hideous monster, a very hideous one at that, and then returned to Witch Hazel as a monster, and the witch mistakes Bugs' new form for another costume. Here turns back to normal cousin Bugs the Faint. Oh yeah, this costume is hopping and get hopping and <laughs> any case, continue on. Our next little trick or treat story is a witch tangled hair. It's attempt to add bugs to her stew, which has chased them all around the ancient castle. Which in the first part of it it resembles one of William Shakespeare's stories. Double, double, tore and trouble, fire and burn and cauldron bubble. But then, well, try to make, try to, try to do it again. Cartoon opens up with Paul looks, I'm getting more better scripting for this one because it's my favorite. He'd be trying to write to come across a cast with a mailbox with Macbeth written on it. At the beginning, this write a story based on a title. He hears a loud squeaking lap of witch Hazel and watches her stir her cotton, her cauldron. Which has Bugs Bunny trapped in the sleeping platter, waking him up. He believed the cauldron to be a bath and ready to climb and realizing his mistake after reading her open recipe book. He quickly jumps out of the boiling cotton and runs out from the witch's head towards the castle. When he tries to attack with a meat cleaver, which Hazel pressures Bugs Bunny in a flying broom. 
Then the poet again tries to write as the bugs and then the witch have departed at the castle. Witch Hazel, Bugs runs into each other and they have to have a little laughing contest and Bug runs up to talk and saying, Yeah, yeah, hey Granny, here I am. Which says, Here I come. She's on a broomstick and goes backwards, with Hazel saying that she has the silliest thing in verse, and she flies up the tower, saying, Hello with Bugs gave her a heavy way to say goodbye as which fell down with a kapunk and she goes, Good grief and the bug says good riddance. She crawls off from the ground and room is destroyed and the chase continues as Bugs act as Romeo to trick which <laughs> which is quite joking, you know what I mean? Who starts the core Juliet Rhymes would play, but soon to improve. Which Hazel jumps out of the castle window as Bugs pretended he will catch her and ready and run off. As Bugs ran off from the castle, he runs into a poet who's crying because he never had a right. Bugs finds out that he is not William Sacred, but is actually called Sam Cublets. The witch hears this and appears the two have known each other, but have not seen each other in a while because Cublets has the wrong apartment number, 2B. And Witch Hazel leaves talking about how he made a mistake, saying, 2B. The cartoon closed with Bugs Bonnie Court and famous line in the helmet, To be or not to be? That is the question. And this was one of my favorite Witch Hazel cartoons. I mean, come on, she's an evil little witch. Well, actually, evil fat witch. <laughs> Next one is a haunted we will go. Which Hazel makes Speedy Gonzalez into an exact double. She dipped the cheese into a witch's brew. After he asked to borrow a cup of cheese, he's not good at asking like a witch. He stands in witch while Daffy tries to prove his nephew wrong. Speedy makes the tea that turns Daffy into a strange creature. <laughs> which is pretty, which is pretty awesome. But then again, I never liked Daffy. Okay, I did when I was younger, because he was actually created first. Ironically, Daffy was created first, then Bugs Bunny. But in the end, ironically, Daffy's just the second hat compared to Bugs Bunny, if you know what I mean. And our next is Claude for Alarm and Skid Hat. Bug meets up with Witch Hazel again at the hotel, telling her that it's unimpressed with her spells. Witch decided to put a spell on Sylvester, who spent the night at a hotel with Porgy Pig, murdering mice. Ever least, Sylvester got taken more and runs away. But then again, I'm not a speed reviewer, so I'm just gonna go to my script and my niece that my daughter made. Mm. Porky and Sylvester are driving to Apoquanli, if I'm reading it correctly, or should I say New Mexico, and Porky decided to stop at a night hotel, Dry Gulch, actually a ghost town. Sylvester alone is alerted the danger from murderous mouse who have taken a resident in the hotel. Unlike the previous cartoon, however, the mice are mostly unseen except for a tiny mother's pair of eyes in the dark corner and moose head over the main desk. Oh, very murderous, I would say. No matter Pokey checked it up with a few small scares for Sylvester. The mice do at the end scare Porky and Sled, as always. Porky does not see the danger until... Sylvester had chased the mice away, leaving him holding a bag or in case the noose and the mouse had dropped around Porky's neck. But the cat had just pushed Porky out of the way. Porky demands to know why Sylvester sucked him, leaving the moose's head and all drooping. And the moose's head begins to follow Porky up the stairs with a shotgun, and the mouse tries to shoot Porky. Sylvester fights with the, mouse, with the moose and Porky scowling him. Hmm. Porky enters vacuum, vocal, uh, vacant room 13. Ugh, I can never say the word for 13 without bad luck shoving up my ab, my abdomen, if you know what I mean. But Sylvester still watching for immediate danger. Suddenly a noose came from the ceiling, almost strangling Porky. He so grabbed the razor and cut the noose. How are Porky sees him doing it with the noose and razor, asking what he's doing to them. And Sylvester sees the, mo the mouse, which closely resembles Wiley Coyote in the kitchen knife. The mouse swooped down and cut the line of the hair of Sylvester's back. Yee! That would be creepy. Porky human and furious and sending out again. Kicking up as out, Sylvester sees the ghost. The moonlight revealed the ghost is just a mouse stand eats on each other's sort of under the white sheet. Sylvester runs back and says, Porky only sees another white bed sheet covering the chair. He pulls the seat up and Sylvester maybe even saw a ghost. But he's still not able to struggle. Sylvester sleeps with him. Sylvester then soldered it all night and guarded his master shotgun with early wrestling down from the break. <laughs> mouse mouse. Land in the E. Lead I cat Vigit as Pork awakened, but Porky wants to continue to stay. This was the last draw for Sylvester, who clubbed Porky over the head, shotgun, while he freshened up his singing home on the range, leaving him stuck on that. And dear in the antelope play, he's just skipping the record. Sylvester, meanwhile, load the car, luggage, and Porky speed away from the car. As they look back, Sylvester breathes a sigh of relief, not seeing a pair of eyes blinking, speeding from cold to the world at all, folks. 
Although then again, this cartoon was quite complexity that scared me. Then we move on to Transylvania 650-000, you know this one. Bugs impressed with Rich Hazel giving him, giving her the hide potion which he grows disgustingly of. Leave the hotel. Upon drinking the formula which the witch transform into a vampire, proceeding to stalk Bugs as he explore her place. Ah, yes. Let's get to that little story, shall we? As he goes into the house, and he doesn't aware that the house is owned by the witch, who is the vampire. And he made sure he was he changed and she changed her name to Blood Count Count. He invites him in while Bug is only looking for a telephone call for his travel and agency. The Count leads him to the guest room, baking him the rest, informed him that rest is good for the blood. Unable to sleep, Bug picked up a book titled Magic Words and Phrases. Desperate as Indian skepticism about their effect, he reads the Count sneaks up behind him, about to strike. But Abracadabra turned the Count into a, into a bat. Bugs mistake the bat count for another big mosquito. It clobbered him with a fly sweater. Nasty bat. Or should I say count? Dizzy flies out of the window. Bugs says, Focus, focus! Which turns the count back into the vampire, causing him to fall, or should I say her, into the most round in the castle. I got that Emily wondered what splendid looking specimen of a count as they watch him take the plunge. Shortly afterwards, while Bugs is searching for the house restaurant, the count or which Hazel, I presume. Let's just follow Witch Hazel for this review and all that, or count. <laughs> From sneaking behind him, but Bugs hammers the tune, it's magic, substitution, abracadabra for some of the lyrics, and vainly turned the count back to the bed. Once again, mistaken the bathroom mosquito, Bugs sprayed with the formula as the bad thing counts, hanging his head down in the archway, coughing and Sheridan out of his lung. Bugs, but Bugs sings Hocus Pocus during the continuous scene song, and the count crashes with the floor in hand. And fret up the situation. The Count confronts him with Bugs, revealed his true identity as a vampire, which words him to do the magic phrases, but Bugs transformed into a baseball empire. He then turns himself into a baseball bat. When the Count turns himself into a bat, Hocus Pocus strangely, he hit the bad vampire on the head, desperate the Count put on glasses, attempted to keep Bugs from doing so. Bugs get the best of Count and rest the do by saying Abigadabra. In any time of emphasis, Hocus Pocus caught him and crashed repeatedly by a stone. Stab, bung, 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 every single time. Crushed by bugs. A mixing of the magic word Acapulco and Capobeza are caused to become a mixed word of humans and bat bodies. Afterward, he used his new palm to turn him to Witch Hazel, and she was back to Witch Hazel. Oh, but then was turned to something else that was different. Until when she said, he, he said, Walla Walla wants a ten. And, count, and Witch Hazel is turned to a two headed male vulture. Bugs called out. Agatha and Emily and the Count soon find themselves of gender romantic intimacy. The Count flees the castle and the female vultures are normally pursued before Bugs watching watch an amusement. Keeping his voice in the coffin. Oh, Bugs finally finds a working telephone while waiting for the opportunity to reach his travel agent. The Agatha Cocos and his eyes turn into... Oh, his ears turn back. Bugs tells the operator to cancel the call and hang up the side of fly home by his new wings. <laughs> Ain't he a stinker? <coughs> And lastly, of the unwitted cartoon, Bug and Winnie restore Witch Hazel back to her normal stance. She declares, All right, Rabbit, you've spelled your last spell. Now it's my turn. She's Bugs in the hallway with no escape. But Bud finally immersed in subtle magic power, transformed the witch into a female bunny. Oh, Lord. And Bug sees a lovely interest. Surely I know, but after he wanted to be alone on Halloween. In the epilogue, the two rabbits celebrate Halloween by drinking the stew from which Hazel's cordon. A bug can command that it needs salt. <laughs> and there you go, guys. This was a classic when I was young. I saw this when I was about, I say, when I was about mm, seven years old or six. But at that time, Disney Channel had a lot of Halloween specials like The Word Witch, Mr. Boogity. And of course, other certain films like the Halloween treat, like the like Disney Halloween treat. I hope you guys enjoy this pleasant fear and scare. So, guys, on to review, my dear monsters. <laughs>